he went from Naomi, non-disciplinary action ass, to Rihanna's non-disciplinary action ass. We know that Rihanna has some disciplinary issues because she will smack a hoe in the face immediately. <laughs> get started please like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube but anyway y'all so today what we're going to be talking about is Tasha K's titties Psych. Oh, okay because like I said they have multiple businesses everywhere and so I don't know if Rihanna is up on game when it comes to Ja and his business dealers but all I know is that sis is worth 600 million okay and if sis marries him they don't do stuff like prenups okay because he's from a whole nother country she's from a whole nother country and if you think about it if their company as a whole is worth 1.6 billion and there's a lot of Jamil family members it don't take a rocket scientist to see that Rihanna is probably worth more than her actual soon-to-be husband, okay? Or somebody's husband, okay? Because this man gets around, apparently. And so I just pray that sis keeps her money in her pocket and doesn't cross any type of barriers when it comes to Jamil wanting funds put in this account or sent here or invested there because she could easily get caught up, okay? And this here investigation that's going on and shit can get real bad, okay? And I don't wish that on nobody, but I guess hey, if you really think about it, that's probably why they call her ass bad girl Riri because she has a history, okay, of picking some bad ass, questionable ass men, okay? And I honestly don't understand why she would want to even date somebody. Not to say there's anything were wrong with anybody from Saudi Arabia, but the laws in which the women, okay, live under over there, meaning she's dating someone and if she was from that country dating him, she would be oppressed like most of the women in their own country, okay? And so I'm sure that those women over there in Saudi Arabia are probably a tad bit uneasy over Mr. Jaws relationship with Rihanna, if it's serious, okay? It looks like it's serious. I told y'all she wasn't gonna meet the family, but she managed to get in and meet the whole damn family but I just hope that she actually got to know her damn future family. If this is what she wants to do, Naomi Campbell was fighting her over this man that she probably knew nothing about as well. So sis has honestly dodged a damn bullet, but I don't want to see everything that Rihanna done worked for gone because she done mixed investments with somebody who lying to the DIA and all they had to do was damn run the damn VIN number, okay? <laughs> I must give a shout out to Tasha K's. I don't know what size titties they are, but they look magnanimous. Is that what babies do to titties? Do they make them look like plump and full like that? Like I thought when you had a baby, like your titties like, you know, go flat, like they deflate or something. Cause I know a whole bunch of women that be like, oh, my daughter took my titties. My son took my titties. I ain't seen my titties since I had my son. Okay, and you know, they be getting mommy makeovers where they, you know, get old fake boo. But Tasha titties, Tasha, girl. Hey guys, so what Tasha K is alleging is that Rihanna need to watch her pockets. Or Rihanna, whatever it is y'all call her. I call her Rihanna. Bad girl, Riri, whatever the case. She need to watch her pockets because her billionaire boyfriend is caught up into some mess. Sure, Kay first talked about is how that old, you know, Arabian Nights pickle. No, let me retract that. That Arabian Nights billionaire pickle is round here hunching on us American women without effort. Because he first was hunching on Naomi Campbell, okay, you know. And then he was hunching on Rihanna. Now, in between the hunching between them two, his wife was somewhere around because he officially did not get a divorce until 2017. Now, let me tell you something, okay? All I know is Rihanna must be a bad mother hunchy if she going to try, you know, and get into a whole scandal with Naomi Campbell. Because we all know that that Naomi Campbell had a propensity to black your eye with a cell phone, okay? So... Let's not pretend that Naomi Campbell or Naomi Campbell ain't old ratchet hoe from England. I don't know why y'all think just because a bitch talk like, oh, pour me the tea and crumpets and scrumpets that, 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 that they won't smack a hoe. When she was, I think I was in the 12th or the 11th grade. When I tell you that girl was on the cover of that magazine and it was such a fucking big goddamn deal in 1989. Child, we thought the modeling industry overcame, child, okay? 
Because it's a big deal back then when you was a whole black woman on the front of any white associated magazine. Now, you can get on Essence. You can get on Ebony. You can get on Jet. Do they still make Jet? Is Jet still a magazine? I got to Google it. You can get on any of the magazines without a problem. Before you get on Cosmopolitan, Vogue, uh, what is that? L, Mademoiselle, anything like that in the 80s? Bitch. What she was saying was that Rihanna's billionaire Arabian pickle, okay, has a whole billionaire company that his grandpappy left him and the entire family, you know, well, he left a couple of billions to, you know, the Rihanna's billionaire pickle. But they got to split that shit up between the family, okay? That Allegedly, that billionaire pickle is associated with funding uh, a, a whole group, okay? They sent over there a whole fleet of Toyotas. Toyota? What? What? To I don't even know what kind of Toyota truck. I'm a BMW person, child, or a Chevy person, but I don't know. But the Toyotas was set to go, okay? Like, they was they was ready. They was yay. But she's saying, Rihanna, be careful. Don't be entering no business ventures with this ninja because, you know, he might be under investigation for some old few gazy stuff. Okay, so be careful. What I want to say about Rihanna's Arabian billionaire pickle is one, that he likes a certain kind of woman. He likes his women to be without discipline. He likes that, which would work, you know, well for me because I don't have much discipline either. But he likes his women to lack discipline. Okay, that might be the reason why he went from Naomi, non-disciplinary action ass, to Rihanna's non-disciplinary action ass. We know that Rihanna has some disciplinary issues because she will smack a hoe in the face immediately. I like that. She don't care if her security around or not. Ugh, that is the best part about a Pisces woman. Because Rihanna just got finished going to court with her pappy for pulling a whole Fenty scam with her brand. Okay, because her pappy was like, uh, I'm a Fenty, I need to get my paper too. Y'all remember that? When her father tried to pull a scam on her, oh my God, I had the worst thing to work, child. If Sonny come up out of the woodwork, child. Her husband or her dude, or possibly seem to be husband, I don't know. I don't think Rihanna's going to marry him. She doesn't seem like the marrying type, and if I was her, I wouldn't marry nobody. I would Oprah this shit Me, I'm saying to myself, why the hell would you sign a deal with your boyfriend? Okay? I don't know how much, you know, I, well, I mean, is it good Arabian pickle? I don't know. You know, they were fighting over it. You know, he did have three women fighting over it at the same time. And I'm like, I don't know. But it's still not enough, you know, good loving in the world to make me want to, you know, sign my name on the dotted line to save anybody's financial situations. Not like for all the girls that be, you know, co-signing for their boyfriend to get a daggone car because you love them. And you know the only way really you could keep them is if you sign your name on some bullshit, girl. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I can't do it. And I done done some dumb shit in my life in relationships. But signing my name? <clears throat> Shout to LaVista to Tasha K for giving me this information, girl. You know I am always grateful for everything you bring down here to the YouTube streets. It's always content for your guy. I told you, all hot pussies do the same thing. I know, because I done broke a couple of hearts along the way myself. Now, I ain't saying my pussy was hot, but it was kind of lukewarm. Vagina Huzzies is in my DM inquiring about my family. I told y'all bitches I wasn't regular. I told y'all bitches that I was a whole royalty down there to the DMV. I told y'all that. Shit. You know, what y'all thought? That my uh, family was going to be all old and broken down? Is that Don't you think my male cousins would look... Less than Stella. I don't know. But you hot pussies, honey, stay the fuck out of my DMs. Keep questioning me about my family. E I'm going to tell y'all husbands. I'm going to tell y'all husbands. But anyway, guys, if you have not already done so, please like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. 
Now, remember this, the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. Have a good one.